got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. A Scottsdale man is facing charges for promoting a phony celebrity golf tournament. 57 year old Robert Alexander is booked on charges of theft and fraudulent schemes. Police say he was collecting money for a wounded warrior fundraiser at Silver Leaf Golf Course. Only problem, it doesn't exist. And if you are a victim, you're asked to call Scottsdale Police. What's up, guys? It's Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. You may or may not know me, and this might be your first video, but I want to let you guys know something. Here we go. Now, are there valid reasons to use a VPN? Of course. Of course there are. Here are some valid cases for using a VPN. You're on an open network, for example, airport or cafe Wi-Fi. You're at work or university and you want to hide your browsing history from your employer or your university. You want to circumvent censorship and access content that is blocked by your ISP or in your country. And finally, you want to torrent Linux ISOs in a country that is known to be very hostile and very strict about piracy. You can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is again one of the easiest downloaded it's like an on switch and off switch now, adam you forgot to tell your subscribers that dex created the software that is tracking them and getting their data every time they click 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 particularly on your channel and your website that's what he designed. That is the B system. That's how we are all going to be tracked. You didn't share that with them. I thought you were honest. My goodness. If you know anything about how they're getting your data and, and Adam, please. You work with the guy that invented it. You know all of it. You know everything. Why are you pretending? that you don't like it's somebody else it was dex michael strutton that designed the software to track the entire planet when the nwo comes in he designed it invented it well i don't know if it was it was while he was working with oracle but i don't know how long before that he was working on it but He's in, he's in your, he's in your house. He's sleeping in your bed. Just to be clear, you have not and will never show any of our texts in between each other to anyone, including Lena, any of the mods, anyone who has not signed an NDA with Mark Google News LLC. Is that something I can believe that you are saying? If you don't break the law, then no, I won't show those texts. What do you mean if I don't break the law? That's, that's how that's how that works. If you're going to break the law, stop breaking the law, asshole! So we've proven over and over again that um, Adam does set up his callers, and there um, a lot of several of them have been fake, especially like Hot Musket, completely fake. But that's what jumped his um, channel up. People started watching him because they thought, oh, he had the inside scoop. He didn't have the inside of nothing. But he would get people to call in and, and you know, Sean had debunked that whole hot musket thing. I did a video on it. You can go watch it. Pretty, pretty, some of it was even comical. Just in, but Adam does this. He gets um, people to call in and, um, and they make it a, fake phone call. Now, listen to how he sets this whole thing up. I've seen a lot of people with YouTube channels, right? I've never seen them set up a call. They'll tell you, you know, we got, hey, we got an interesting call. You're going to really like the information. You know, we're going to be talking about this. So, you know, stay tuned. But the way he sets her up, it's like he wants you to know right off, you know, oh, it's, you know, it's just, I can't even explain because he's just, oh, God, I can't believe that back in the day we all fell for all of his lies and garbage. And a lot, he got a lot of new subs and stuff because of his lies. You know, 
like the Nord VPN that everybody knew that it was hacked and who jumps on board right away? Dex was on board. Uh-huh. Yeah, Dex, you. So anyway, watch how he sets this girl up. I'm not going to play the whole phone call. Um, if you want me to, I, I can, I'll put it up by itself on my channel, but, um, just watch how he sets the whole thing up, you know, and, and, and when you first hear him say, Hey, Hey, so-and-so you there, whatever she'll say, yeah, I'm here in complete English. And then after that, her voice changes to the ax to the Chinese accent. Okay. Um, so the information that she has is everything you already know. I wouldn't even trip on listening to the rest of the video. Um, because it's all, um, I took it off because it's all everything we already know. It's nothing new, but back then, you know, this was a few years ago back then, everybody wanted to, you know, know what was going on and stuff. And he had the inside scoop. He didn't have the inside and that thing. He's a liar. You're such a liar, Adam. My goodness, I cannot believe you followed, I followed you for that long that I didn't see through any of this stuff. So, um, to just watch how he sets it up. That alone right there should tell you something. All right, enjoy. Uh, what you're about to watch, I want to be very clear, is a clip of a woman who called in last night, and she was a Chinese woman, and said she was from China, and she said she wanted to correct some of the things that I've said about China, because she had kind of the insider China scoop. Was it worth it? Bad idea. This is a bad idea. The only person who can help him is Jack Flack. It got a little crazier as it went on. Uh, she, when I asked uh, who she was, she said it's not important. Super spy. A figment of his imagination. Uh, you'll see that in the call, and you'll also see on the sidelines, everyone in chat was saying, keep this woman on, keep this woman on. Trying to kill us. You can't kill me. You can't see me. Uh, mind you, our normal call is about five minutes long, so this is actually a little bit longer than that. In fact, uh, the original video, you can go at Marfugal TV and watch that. It was 30 minutes. Top secret documents are at stake. Time is running out. So if you want to make more money and uh, keep the money that you make, better call Saul. Uh, in this call, she talked about a lot of things, but she said some things that definitely go against the mainstream and uh, some things that kind of made me uh, pique my interest a little bit, especially about the moon, uh, what they possibly could have found, something that might be coming towards us. <laughs> Stop that! Oh, just a second there, son. Come on, this is and dagger for real. That's what you always wanted. So again, I'll let you guys be the judge. Some said this is a, uh, you know, this is an amazing call. This woman knows her stuff. Please stop! I don't want to shoot you. But I want to shoot you. Some said it was propaganda. Just starting to get good. What? Just like cloak and dagger. Some said that this was literally China watching my stream and, and trying to put out their own information. Is he always like that? Usually. I don't know. If it was propaganda, you guys be the judge. I'm just the vessel and I'm the host. So naturally, they wouldn't believe here that the game could become real. So please let me pass this on to you. The spies could be real. And uh, get what you want out of it. That the danger could be real. And then uh, throw back the rest. So thank you guys. Check it out. Hello, you are live on Marfugal TV. This is Dex with Marfugal News. And I've got some pressing information about internet censorship that you're going to want to know about. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. So here's the story. I'm being candid with you. I can't deal with fear porn. And some of that shit is worse than what you see on mainstream media. Dishonesty. You're going to get it from me. You know, I don't hold my time. And... You know, I, I'm the type of nigga, I blow up bridges and then think about what the fuck I did after. I'd be like, damn, maybe I should have left that bridge open. No, fuck that. I don't like fear porn. 
I don't like gotcha titles. I don't like that. Huh? I don't like. Huh? I don't like titles that clutch at your heart and make you feel unworthy. Must watch now. Emergency. And I don't like that. That shit, it, it, it fuck with my spirit. And then I get a notification. And the title be so distraughtful. I get fucking depressed. I could be in a good mood. Then I, I get a notification. It, it pop up. Food shortages. Food shortages. President shortages. Short shortages. Everything shortages. <laughs> Must watch now. Mandatory vaccine. And I'm like, Holmes, I don't even, I get home, be like, yo, I, don't, I can't even make a video now. Because I'm fucking depressed now. Now I'm in the fucking closet sitting in the dark. Well, I can't believe it. It's too good to be true. What is it? It's a communication cable. Huh? Don't you understand? It's a telephone line. We can telephone for help. They said that they are censoring the websites. They are blocking access to websites that contain this information that they don't want distributed. Telephone. <laughs> well, we're about to start our second hour of incomplete calls. Hello. <gasps> oh, where have you been? I've been calling all evening. I've been out at a business meeting, girl. Oh, I think we found one. We're having a conversation. Hello? So, this is a new level of censorship. Hello? A business meeting? Who's that with you? Don't be ridiculous, Sybil. There's no one with me. Hello? Can you hear me? Who was that? Your parakeet? <laughs> oh, please, please help us. I don't know who that is, Sybil, but I assure you I'm quite alone. Basically, internet service providers, these are the same people you would use to connect to the internet, have actually taken matters into their own hands. And you must take me for a fool, Larry. Sybil! Hello, this is Ginger. I don't know who you are, young lady, but get off this line. <laughs> oh, don't you understand? We've been shipped. Oh, Rick. This is actually China level of censorship. This is what I would expect and what you see in China. This is not what we see in, you know, the modern uh, democratic and free societies that we live in, especially here in America. And, you know, leveraging social technology makes that absolutely uh, easier for a marketer today. The most exciting thing to me in this field is absolutely the amount of data that's becoming available. Um, it's also the scary uh, thing. Let's cross the yellow vine over the green vine. Right, the yellow over the green. Right. Now, we know we picked up Hawaii on the green wire and Australia on the yellow. And certainly Peru came in very clearly over the brown wire. That's right, and that should mean that the Western Hemisphere should come in over the brown, the yellow, or the green wire. And certainly the United States should come in very clearly on the red, white, and the blue. I mean, I get it that the social networks, they, they claim to be private and that they can do what they want so they can make their own rules, and that's fine um, for now until things get settled. Skipper, telephone wires just don't work that way. Now, the key to the pattern seems to be the red wire. Oh, but the red wire must be a direct line to Moscow. Skipper, I said the telephone wires simply don't work that way. Well, all right, Professor, but I sure hope you know what you're doing. I mean, we spend a lot of man hours putting these colored vines up. Well, it's the only way to solve any problem. Logic. Now, using the deductive form of reasoning, the wires used most frequently should relate to the United States, which has more telephones per capita than any country in the world. I know there's a lawsuit right now against Twitter um, that, that may have a, some play into um, how content is treated on the networks uh, as far as free speech goes but there's a big difference between the social networks and the internet service providers now the combination of that color with other colors should indicate a progressive ratio scale with the other countries proportionate to the percentage of telephones located in those countries you can choose to leave a social network you really can't choose to leave your internet service provider um, these are the ones who connect you this is like in my case it's comcast in your case, it might be AT&T or Verizon or another um, broad, another uh, cable company. Hey, Dex, um, I, I'm going to cut in on this little skit that I did for Dex because I came to this part. What the hell, Dex? It even sounds like a lizard. And don't tell me you got a microphone on your chest because you got you're, you're holding your cell phone. You walked outside and you're holding your cell phone.
What the hell is with the hissy? Explain yourself. Seriously. What the hell? Y'all, listen. I'll play it several times. Y'all listen. You can choose to leave a social network. You really can't choose to leave your internet service provider. Um, it's really very easy, isn't it? Oh. Well, the important thing is to keep these vines from getting tangled while I figure out which color will guarantee us a telephone call to the United States. Let's see, what was that number? This is the operator. Will you kindly deposit 10 cents for three minutes, sir? An operator? I got an operator. Will you kindly deposit 10 cents, sir? Operator, where are you? This is the San Diego operator. Will you kindly deposit a dime, sir? Uh, don't go away, operator. Hey, I got an operator in San Diego. I got an operator in San Diego. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to deposit another dime. You got a dime? No, 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 I don't think so. No, the least I have is a $20 bill. I could tuck it in. Yeah. And if you're only working with a mobile phone, then it's whoever your mobile phone provider is. That's the company that's connecting you to the internet. And it's their job to connect you to the internet. It's not their job to censor the internet from you. At best, at best, they might want to, they might be in a position to protect us from cyber threats and DDoS attacks and trying to shut down that. I got a quarter. quarter. I've got a quarter. quarter. I'm sorry, sir. We cannot make change. If you give me your name and address, I'll send you 15 cents. I don't know where we are. If you wish me to continue to keep this line open, you'll have to deposit the quarter. That's uh, an operator. Don't lose it. An operator. An operator. <laughs> Did you deposit the quarter? And there's no place to put it. I'm sorry. I cannot keep this line open. Well, operator, wait, wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. We're shipwrecked, you see. And we found this telephone line and we tapped into it. And we're on a deserted island. There's no telephone booth or even a phone. Why do I get all the nuts? But what I don't see the broadband companies in a position of actually deciding what I'm allowed to look at and what you're allowed to look at. That's not their position. And when they take that position, it's a new level of censorship. This is a type of censorship that we don't want, you don't want, and we don't need to have it continue to spread. So... Uh, Reached her, we'll reach somebody else. Oh, I don't think we're gonna have many more chances today, Professor. Look at that sky! Oh, that is a bad storm coming in. We gotta get indoors for the night. Come on, Be aware, pay attention to what's going on. Um, in this open letter, they said they were they were shutting down access to websites. Um, I believe Zero Hedge came out and said that they were shut down, but they never even distributed the content that was being talked about. So now there's claims of overreaching their uh, what they claim to be trying to censor. So pay attention, um, understand. There's a lot of things going on in our world right now, from uh, the, the power grids being uh, basically manipulated or messed with potentially we know it's happening uh we've 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 heard claims of it happening in other countries like venezuela uh there's been some weird things going on here in america Um, then we have to worry about our network. We saw the network DDoS attacks recently across all the social networks. Uh, we see the attacks potentially happening on the network level. And now we have censorship that's going at a much higher level uh, in the free world, which I would never expect. The, the cable is gone. What could have happened to the cable? Well, the same way the first storm drove it into the lagoon, last night's storm must have pulled it out again. So pay attention, understand what's going on. Um, I would also, uh, as you're thinking about what's happening in the, in the technology space, you know, we've got 5G rolling out. It's going to be expanding basically the capabilities of our internet and our connected devices and having internet everywhere. It's also got a lot of scary aspects to it. So what are we going to do now? Well, there isn't much we can do, but I'll tell you this much. With the bare telephone lines exposed to the salt water, it won't be long before they corrode and break. Well, then we will be rescued. 
energy weapons, how 5G uh, is going to work and, and be potentially used against us. The phone company will have to send out a repair crew and we'll be rescued in a few months. Oh, no. What's the matter? Well, last night when the storm started, I didn't want the wires to get wet. You didn't want the wires to get wet. And what did you do, Gilligan? I wrapped them up real nice and dry with the rubber the professor made. And it also includes uh, Serenity, um, and it was hosted by Shauna from Marfugal Reports. So that video uh, talks to both of them, and uh, Serenity was one of the survivors of the Paradise uh, fires. And uh, some interesting information out of there was a lot of the homes that uh, went down went down because they had some potentially because they had smart meters, and some homes that never were touched, never were burnt, didn't have smart meters. So there's a lot of controversy going on. Uh, around the smart meter technology, which is using that that broadband, uh, that higher frequency microwave uh, uh, range. Uh, again, understand what's going on with censorship. Understand what's happening with the networks. Um, it's a beautiful day out here today. I wanted to come outside. Sorry, I got sunglasses on. I had the sun on my face a minute ago. But uh, thanks a lot for being with me. Again, this is Dex with Marfugal News. So be safe, be prepared, and Dex out. Yeah, hey, Dex, is that really why you have them sunglasses on? Because there was one point where I could see through the sunglasses and your eyes looked a little bit funny to me. I'm just saying. Why don't you take them sunglasses off and face the sun? I think you're a lizard. Are you? Hmm. Crazy, right? Wow. Hello, you are live on Marfugal TV, The New Yorker. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, the Chinese go city, all that housing may be prepared for America. No. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, the Chinese ghost city, all that housing may be prepared for America. No. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. You have boyfriend? <laughs> um, no, no, I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Honey, why you don't have? You look so pretty, like model, cheerleader, something pretty. You like long or short nails? Uh, short nails, please, thanks. Oh, honey, that's why you don't have a boyfriend. I do for you, long better. All right, fine, I'll have long nails, thanks. It's okay, honey, only $4 more, that's okay. Do you like crit or gel? What? Do you like crypto gel? Um, uh, I'm sorry. Um, what? <laughs> Honey, do you like crypto gel for your nail? It's the best thing you can have for your nail. Make it look nice. It sparkle like diamond in the sky. Do you like crypto gel? <laughs> oh, um. No, I don't want cri crypto that. <laughs> Thanks. Honey, you say to me you do not have boyfriend. I don't want to help you. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I'll have some. Thank you. It's okay. And it's better for you. Only six dollars more. <laughs> I'll finish. Go wash your hand. All right. Thanks, Tammy. Oh, wait. Hold on. This one here is a little bit crooked. See that? No, honey, that your finger do like that. <laughs> That's funny, because my finger didn't do like that before I came in here. It's okay, honey, don't worry. I fix it for you, don't worry. Took moon on my bone, I'm 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 Oh, she said you look so pretty. <laughs> Now, the reason I posted both of those sayings several times was when she says, yeah, I'm here, she sounds American. And then all of a sudden, she's Chinese. Just saying. Okay, so uh, the New Yorker, you are from Oregon. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you're from yeah, New York. I have something. I'm from New York, and I'm also Chinese, so I can read all the Chinese news. So there are some things I hear from your show regarding to China, I would clarify. Um, first thing you said is someone told you. Okay, so here you see Adam 
um, rocking his head up and down, and then he does a little two-handed fist, fist pump kind of like, like, yeah, like someone's going to corroborate what he's already been saying. How does he know? If this is a new call and she's just calling in, how does he know what she's about to say? All she said was, I'm going to clear up some things that I've heard you say or something like that, you know, on the show. He doesn't know what she's going to say. Or does he? Because he starts nodding his head and doing the fist pump like he's got some, like, some new, some, in, like, he already knows. He already knows. Man, you're terrible, man. I can, man, everything you do, all your actions, you're terrible. Like I said before, Adam, you're a terrible poker player, man. You, this is so phony. That's wrong. Because Chinese housing is different than American. They are unfinished. The inside is a gray box. There's no plumbing, no electricity. Those ghost city is not in the condition for anybody to live in. And China has a different um, finish. Uh, called phase one, phase two, and they were given the opportunity to all that um, um, business, uh, whoever could finish up the inside, so they can, you know, repartition the the house and put where the bathroom, the kitchen, and they can refinish the walls, the ceiling, the floor. So those city, those city is not ready for anybody to move in. I'm bathing in this mixture. Well, and then dip it into 